Hello there, Patriots. Welcome back. I am the Math Patriot, bringing you another video in the exciting world of high school geometry. Um, we're continuing on with our trigonometry unit, doing our second lesson, talking about radians. But before we can talk about radians and what in the world they are, I'm going to be up front with you. We're going to learn about them. We're going to talk about what they are, very, very basic surface level stuff, and then we're not going to use them. Um, well, the reason we're doing that is because it becomes important for you to understand that they exist. And instead of just saying they exist and then moving on with life and never, ever showing you what they are or anything, I'm going to give you a little bit of base information up front just to kind of make things make a little more sense to you. Um, so before we can talk about radians, let's first talk about degrees. Um, a degree is a unit of measure um, on how big an angle is. Now, a, a degree, the way we look at it is if we were to start at one spot, and rotate entirely around a circle, we would say that, that is 360 degrees. Now, why is it 360? Well, in all reality, it actually has to do with the fact that there are six divisions of, and I'm drawing that wrong there, but there are six divisions of 60 degrees around a circle. Um, the reason we do that is honestly because the ancient Babylonians counted in a base 60 number system. We count in base 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and at 9 we wrap around to two digits, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, all the way through, we get 1, 8, 1, 9, and then we loop around to 2, 0. Mesopotamians, they looped around at 60, and because of that, this 60 got incorporated into a lot of the math that they developed over the years. Um, um, we actually still do that, honestly, with uh, time. Um, I mean, think about it, 72 seconds could be rewritten as... 60 plus 12 seconds, which we also write as 1 minute and 12 seconds. We do the exact same thing with our hours and minutes. 72 minutes is 1 hour and 12 minutes, and this all is based on a base 60 number system. So we still use that. Degrees are based on a very, very similar idea. Now, we could come in and, and do portions of that 360 degrees. So if we started here and went halfway around, that would be 180 degrees. If we went a quarter of the way around, that is 90 degrees, our classic right angle. Now, just like in elementary school, you were taught that we have this customary uh, measurement system, uh, feet, pounds, um, um, gallons that we use here in America, in other parts of the world, there are other um, units of measure that honestly make a little bit more sense. Uh, the metric system, um, I'm not going to get into the, the benefits of that, but I love the metric system. I wish America would adopt it. We tried to back in the 70s. It failed because we couldn't get everybody to change their ways. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. The important thing is that a different type of number system exists. Um, I'm sorry, a different type of measurement system exists for, for weights, for distances, um, for volumes degrees have a very similar idea. Now, this number system or measuring system is called radians. Now, the radians degree system, or not, I'm sorry, the radians um, um, angle measurement system is based on this idea. If I again started here and went around, and forgive me, that's a nowhere near a perfect circle, and went around one full circle, well, you were taught a, a formula for measuring the distance around that circle, and that is C equals 2 times pi times R, where R is the radius. Now, let's say that this point right here happens exactly one unit away from the origin. That would mean that this was also at 1, this would be at negative 1, and this would be at negative 1 as well. Well, if this were the case, what's the distance from start to stop around the circle? Well, here, from there to there, my radius equals 1. So if I was to replace 1 in here for the radius, I would get the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times 1, or the circumference equals just 2 pi. So what I could say is that the distance around the circle is 2 pi, and that's the basis for the radian system. So if I was to go halfway around the circle from here and stop there, well, that would be half of 2 pi, which is just 1 pi. If I was to go up to here, my traditional 90 degree angle, well, that would be again half of this, so that's pi over 2. If I was to go pi and then another half pi, another 90 degrees, well, that's 3 
pi over 2. Go the entire distance around the circle, and I've traveled 2 pi. Now, this thing gets broken up a whole lot more than that. I mean, we end up getting all the way down into, into our 45-degree angle is pi fourths. Um, our 60-degree angle over here is, I'm sorry, 30-degree angle is pi sixth. And there's a whole lot of stuff going on there. But my point is that all that this stuff is is another way of writing degrees. It's just another way of writing a measurement around a circle. There is a conversion unit or a conversion uh, a calculation to go from radians to degrees and degrees to radians. Now, we're not going to be using those in, in what we're doing. For basic core geometry, all we care about is degrees. So why in the world are we even talking about radians? Well, honestly, it boils down to our TI-8384 series calculators. The calculator knows how to do both degrees and radians. And so we got to make sure that we're, tell, we're talking the exact same language as our calculator. Because if you're trying to do things in degrees, but your calculator is trying to do things in radians, then we get problems. We're not communicating right. So first, let's go ahead and turn your calculator on. Bottom left corner, on button. Now I want you to go over to mode, which is right beside second, your mode button. And you'll see three down. Um, it could be, I believe, four down if you're using a TI-84 plus C. Um, um, just look for the radian, radian and degree slot. Make sure that degree is highlighted. You go down and press enter on degree and it will be highlighted. You have to make sure that you check this every single time you turn on one of my classroom calculators. The reason for that is if somebody goes in and does the reset calculator um, um, option, whenever you go back into mode, it has reset itself back to degrees. So. If you just take for granted that this thing's speaking the same language as you, you're probably going to be wrong. Go ahead and check it every single time. Now, as far as actually using all this stuff in a classroom, when you get to your pre-calculus class, you know, different states might call it different things. I believe like advanced analytical geometry um, um, is one of the options, um, or even a college algebra class in some cases. You might have to actually start using degrees in formulas and things. Um, physics classes love to use degrees. I'm um, sorry, you'll love to use radians. Um, up until that point, though, it's just it's good enough for you to know they exist and good enough for you to know that if you ever happen to see this whole pi thing being thrown around for angles, it's just degrees, different measure of units. So um, that's all we have for right now. We'll continue next time with more about trigonometry. And uh, make sure you guys uh, hit, hit the like and subscribe buttons. That way you are able to keep up with all of our content. As soon as it comes out, you'll be the first to know. As always, stay patriotic.